Hi, in this video I want to have a look at the 12 bar blues. Now you've probably all heard of the 12 bar blues, but what actually is it? Well, it's basically just a chord progression. Um, it's a chord progression that lasts, unsurprisingly, for 12 bars. It's played in 4-4 four, four time and it's probably one of the most used chord progressions there is out there. It's used in loads and loads of styles of music and in many famous songs. Um, so first we'll have a look at the chords that make up this. The standard 12 bar blues uses three chords. Technically speaking, the diatonic function is 1, 4 and 5, which is the tonic, subdominant and dominant. Uh, this guitar is tuned open D, so we'll be playing in the key of D. Um, and in the key of D, uh, the tonic, number one, is D. The subdominant, number four, is G. And the dominant, number five, is A. And these are the three chords that are used in the 12 bar blues. Uh, the order that they're played in in a standard 12 bar blues is uh, four bars of the tonic D, followed by two bars of the subdominant G, then two bars of the tonic D, one bar of the dominant A, one bar of the subdominant G, and then it finishes with two bars of the tonic D. So what I'll let you do is I'll let you hear that um, using a standard blue shuffle. Okay, we've had a listen to the chords, now I want to play a short 12 bar blues tune I wrote called 12 bar taster uh, that lets you hear this in a piece of music. <laughs> standard 12 bar blues tune. If you want to have a go at that, the tab's on the website. Okay, we've had a look at the standard 12 bar blues chord progression, but there are many variations of it out there. Uh, most of the variations are relatively subtle and the, the basic structure doesn't change too much. Uh, there's, there's loads and loads of these out there far too many to go in in this video, so what I want to do is have a look at a couple of the most common ones that are used. The first one I want to have a look at is, in a standard 12 bar blues, the last two bars are two bars of the tonic, which in this case is D. A really common variation on this is replacing the last bar, the 12th bar, with an adding a dominant in, which would be an A, so the last two bars would be a bar of D and then a bar of A. I'll let you hear how that sounds. It'll sound familiar when you hear it. Um, so I'll play the last four bars um, uh, with this variation in it. Like so, and you've probably heard that, that variation uh, many a time. Um, the next really common variation I want to look at uh, is, is an alteration of the dominant. Um, the dominant in this case is A, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with an A7th. Now this is really, really common and you'll hear this in a lot of blues music. So what I want to do is just run through this, I'll run through a full 12 bars that I played pretty quickly. Uh, and let you hear it sounds what will sound with an A seventh rather than just an A. Okay, that was a play with an A 
is seventh. Um, a lot of these these uh, variations get mixed up. I mean, the two I've just shown you are commonly done together. Commonly, it'll be played with a, a, a seventh on the dominant, um, and it'll revert back to that for the last bar. But like I said, there are many many variations out there, um, and you know you can go out there and have a look and, and see some of them for yourself. Okay, we've had a look at a couple of variations. The last thing I want to talk about is turnarounds. Uh, turnarounds are really common in blues music and used a lot in these 12 bar blues patterns. Um, what a turnaround is, is basically um, a phrases that are added to the, the 10th or usually 11th bar um, the 12 bar blues um, that help feed into the end of the song and effectively turn it around for going back to the start. Um, these often take the form of, you know, descending chords or descending notes, you know, like so. Um, the difference between them and the variations I showed before are that the turnarounds are usually bespoke. Um, to the individual piece of music that's played or the individual tune that's being played, whereas the, the variations I showed previously are used in a lot of different uh, tunes. So to show you this, I'm going to play you um, a piece of music. Uh, it's Tampa Red's uh, Boogie Woogie Dance. Okay, that was just the start of uh, Boogie Woogie Dance, but you could hear the turnaround coming through in the final final bars of that music. Um, that's really all I want to talk about on 12 Bar Blues. It's just a brief overview. Um, to see more of them, you have to go out there and look out 12 Bar Blues pieces of music. If you type it in the internet, you'll get lists and lists of tunes you can look at. Um, I hope this overview has been helpful um, and in learning the basic structure. If you go onto the website, there's far more in-depth uh, discussion about it. There's also tables, uh, the three chords used, and it lists, uh, lists the three chords used in this in every single one of the 12 keys. Uh, so there's handy lookup table. There's also tabs for the blue shuffle uh, at the start and the 12 bar taster that I played earlier. Um, so best thing to do, go out, find some 12 bar blues tunes, have a play along and you'll soon pick up this structure. Thanks for watching.